starting a commercial kitchen, are you? Well, you may be interested in this tour. This is the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Fergus, Ontario. They had a lot of interesting items, and we're going to see some of them here. The mission is quite straightforward. Continues with their store hours, where they are closed Mondays and Sundays. And some more of their raison d'etre. Uh, this is a, a, a multi-leaf oak table. At least one other leaf sitting on top there. And um, there you see the leaf and the sizes of it. Not a terrible price. So you're going to tour with me vicariously to see this ReStore located in Fergus, Ontario. Beyond the oak table, we start to see the whole section of furniture. But this is right at the entrance. So the store is not particularly wide here, but as you noticed earlier, it actually widens out. As we get about halfway down the uh, aisle, some of these pieces are very large pieces of furniture. You need a large place to place these into. There are some interesting ones, such as this uh, lounger, very modern styling. The prices weren't particularly high for any of these items. And we're coming up to this massage lounging chair. We're going to focus on for a little bit. It has heat and uh, vibration, plus the, it, it's supposed to have um, electrical lift of the legs. I think it has some issues. It might be something that's easily taken care of by somebody who's uh, in the know. So this is the overall view of it. And here's the control panel on the inside of the arm. They say they've tested it. The heat's not working, massage is working, and it's a manual recline. The price is certainly not spoiling it. It had already been there some two months at that point. And in the, once we get to about the middle, it widens out like this. There was some furniture there you saw. We're going to look at some of these other things that are on the right hand side in a little bit. But these are clothes that are new with tags. We're not talking about some sort of uh, items that are hand-me-downs hand or second-hand or somebody grew out of the size. These are brand new. A lot of the things you'll find at the ReStore are new. Not everything, but there's a significant portion of it that are. Some dresses, some some construction work, some some casual dresses, but they're pretty well all contemporary. Some people will donate used uh, items to here. They will accept them within their own parameter reasons. A couple of file cabinets even. A number of wall units were here. You don't see them that often anymore. They have, as many of the restores do, they have complete kitchens. They also had these two professional level, or well, labeled as professional, KitchenAid mixers. And the price was uh, pretty good price 
for what they are. They appear to be new. Uh, compared to normal retail price, though, that was a deal. Then they have these uh, other items here. This looks like a like a center counter bar island. They have artwork framed. They may also have some unframed. I uh, I wasn't searching through so, that thoroughly. Some of the cabinetry you could use in a, in a bathroom as well. Lots of light fixtures to pick from. Some new, some used. Some have some damage to them, like a globe, but they may have the globes separately sold. So if you have one, a light fixture you broke a globe on, you can get one potentially from here. And I'm referring to globe as a, a diffuser. And yes, they even have walkers and wheelchairs. Uh, they had compact fluorescent lamps. Um, if you like them, fine. But uh, I think everyone's pretty well shifted over to LEDs by now. Continuing with some more of the light fixtures. The light bulbs and associated. They have bins of tools and bits and pieces. There's a whole collection of these bed head headboard footboards. Uh, they have some other tools. I'm not sure if absolutely all of them were for sale. I think some of them are the ones that they use for instructing folks before they head off to a uh, one of their project construction sites. And uh, some of the items that are in the store, that they get put aside for some of these uh, project construction sites. Uh, whether the, There's a whole system for that. Uh, you can investigate that on your own if you're interested. They each do produce uh, homes and you don't get it for free you work for it and you need to contribute not just for your own home but uh, there's some expectation for helping out the community overall so these they had a whole bunch of these footstools they were 20 bucks which isn't a horrible price if you like the color and the pattern but if you needed a bunch of them for some particular venue i don't know there's a bunch of them here they have all kinds of bits and pieces for electrical hardware plumbing um kitchen bathroom counters with two sinks in them even some rolled up area carpets there's doors tables um, all kinds of stuff most of the restores have uh, building materials this one seems to have a bit more in the way of things like these appliances i noticed that the appliances had been uh, had signs on them along with a lot of other things they were selling 20% off of what they had originally put the sticker on for. They, <clears throat> these are very expensive items to start with, but getting uh, getting the reduction to start with, and then redu uh, reducing that additionally. So it's 3,000 minus at less 20%. That's a significant amount. Some $600. That one is $38.95. They also had this mid-century wall unit. And you notice it says no tax. That's correct, because it's all volunteer. So that fry pan I found there, I found a comparable price, but it's only in South Africa. So you can make your own conversions. Thanks a lot, folks. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of Fergus Restore. If you'd like to give us a thumbs up, it'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe would also help us a lot. And uh, 
if you put a mark on the bell, it'll, the system will give you a dingle when the next one gets posted. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.